Even though simplicity is always best, there are times when it just makes sense to film a video or a scene using more than one camera. So whether it's because you need to capture something that you can only do one time, or because you're just trying to save time while you're filming, or even if you're filming something by yourself and you just kind of need the extra help and you don't have anybody, using multiple cameras to film a single scene can sometimes be the most practical choice you can make. But sometimes putting all that footage into Final Cut Pro and editing it together and syncing it all up can sometimes turn into a nightmare. It can get really complicated. So today I wanna to show you the basics of multicam editing in Final Cut Pro. A few weeks ago I made a video about this 3D printed tripod head that I made and the video was all about me putting this together. And to do that video, I actually had four different cameras set up. And fortunately for Final Cut Pro's multi-cam editing, really doesn't matter what kind of cameras you use. You can mix very high-end cameras, you can use low-end cameras, you can use a little bit of everything. For that video specifically, I used the EOS R as my main camera. I used the 6D Mark II as an overhead camera. I used the Sony RX100 as like a camera on one side to get some close-ups and I actually used a borrowed Sony a7 III on the other side to get those shots. So I had four different cameras, two Canons, two Sonys, a DSLR, mirrorless, and a point and shoot and everything synced together just fine. So here's the basics of how you would do that. And the first thing is to spend a little bit of time and plan out how you're going to film your scene. Ultimately, regardless of how many cameras you use, even if it's just two or 16, it's important that they're all recording at the same time. It's very important that the cameras are recording audio at the same time. If you can't record audio, there are ways around it, but just to be safe, make sure your cameras are recording audio. It doesn't matter how good it is, even if you're using your phone, it's just the phone audio or the onboard mic or whatever, that's fine. Just make sure every camera has an audio source because that's going to help you when you sync them later. And then you do want to designate your main audio source. So in the case of my example video, I had the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus connected to the EOS R, and that was my main audio source. And then you just start recording, and what will happen later on is that Final Cut Pro will sync all the clips together based on their audio signals. So sometimes once the cameras are all recording, it can be very helpful to do something like literally clap your hands, so that way there's a big audio spike to sync to, or even just yell out like action, or say something so that there's a clear audio signal to allow for syncing. It doesn't even necessarily matter if you start and stop some of the cameras throughout if you have to, but you just film everything and then when you're all done, you've got you know probably three or four SD cards. In my case, it was four memory cards that I had to put into Final Cut. So here's what that ended up looking like. I put them all in a folder and I just called it multi-cam angles. So I have all the footage from that video which has like some B-roll shots and just extra footage. But the multi-cam angles of me actually assembling the print, I put in their own folder. And as you can see, I have two files from the 6D Mark II. I have two files from the A7 III two files from the EOS R and two files from the RX100 because I ended up filming for like almost an hour to put the whole thing together. And then this is my finished timeline in Final Cut Pro for that project. So it's kind of a simple-ish timeline. There are a lot of cuts happening here. There's not really that much B-roll or anything because it's all multi-cam. And then of course I got my song and a couple little audio things happening. But the beauty of multi-cam comes with all of these cuts. So if you look at this project, there's, you know, I don't even know how many cuts. Many, many cuts <laughs> from different angles. But the beauty of multi-cam is that it almost turns your recorded footage into like a live broadcast. So if you've ever seen behind the scenes of a TV show when a director's calling shots, they usually have an input monitor where it's all the different sources and then they have their program monitor where it's the thing they're actually selecting and they're pushing a button on a video switcher to switch between the different angles. That's basically all that you're doing with multi-cam and Final Cut Pro. And so these cuts all happen almost automatically and then you can tighten them up afterwards. So I don't wanna start with the finished project. Let's start from scratch and I'll show you how I would put this together. So in Final Cut, I'm going to create a new event just to organize my footage. I'm gonna call it multi-cam. In the case of these cameras, I had some cameras filming at 4K and some cameras filming at 1080 and they're all different 
bit rates, so it doesn't really matter. Everything comes together pretty seamlessly. Into that multicam event, I want to add in all my multicam shots. So I'll import those. Now it can be kind of tough to see in Final Cut since these are such long bits of footage, so I'm gonna click this little icon up here and just go into list view. So just to keep things simple for me, since I did two long chunks of footage with each camera, we will start with the first one. So I'm gonna select the A7 one, 6D one, RX one, and R1. That was my first round of filming, about 30 minutes. And then all I do once I have the clips selected that I want to use, I just right click and select new multicam clip. My computer sounds like it's about to blast off, so if you hear that, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just doing its thing. Uh, Multi-cam clip, we'll just say, we'll call it number one. You can adjust your frame rates and your size and all your settings based on the footage that you're using and then just click OK. It's gonna take Final Cut Pro a second to sync everything and then you're gonna end up with a multi-cam clip which you can tell it's a multi-cam clip because it has this little icon, it looks like a window literally looks kind of like the Windows logo. And then all you need to do is drag that down into your project timeline. And this is where people often get confused because they drag that down there and they go, well, it's just the one clip. Like it, in this case, it's my 6D Mark II, my overhead shot. And it just looks like this whole 30 minutes is just that one angle. Where are the other three angles? And this is where you get to dive into a feature of Final Cut that you might not have used before. If you go up to the viewer window and you click on view, there's an option to show angles. And if you click on that, now you're gonna have all of your angles. They are all built into this single clip that's in your timeline. It's magical. In this case, they're usually just numbered from top to bottom. Uh, the 6D would be camera one, the A7 would be camera two, the R would be camera three, and the RX100 would be camera four, since I have four angles. And you notice, as soon as I mouse over these, I get the razor blade icon, and if I cut to them, it cuts to that angle, and down on the timeline, it actually creates a cut automatically. So I'm gonna undo those cuts, go all the way back to the beginning here, and switch it over to the R1, which in this case is my camera three, because this is my main shot. This was what had my main audio, and this is also just the main shot of me talking to the camera like this right here. So everything else is gonna be a cutaway from this. In order to do that, I need to pay attention to these three icons up here. The first one means that every time I switch between my shots, it's going to switch video and audio. The second one means that it's only gonna be video switching, and the third one means it's only audio switching. So you have all kinds of different options. In the case of this project, and probably in most multicam projects, you're gonna wanna do video only switching because you're gonna have your audio source and if you had used an external audio recorder, it would just show up as one of these angles and you would just leave that down there and just switch video only. And at this point, I'm ready to go. I'm not gonna go through and actually edit this whole thing. But if I scrub through my timeline, I can see that all four of my angles are synced. So that means continuity is not an issue. Final Cut Pro did that automatically. And then all I need to do is as I'm playing through this, I can just cut to whatever angle I want. So in the main window over here, I see me talking and I can just watch my other angles. And when something happens that I think is interesting, I can cut to that. And I can either click on the angle to switch between it, or I can literally just press one, two, three, and four on my keyboard, whichever camera angle is which. So if I wanna go to the RX100, I can press four. I wanna go back then to the EOS R, I can press three. Now I want my overhead shot. Now I wanna go back to the R. Now I wanna go back to, I just wanna go through all of them repeatedly and give someone like a panic attack. I could do that. But the cool part is, if I go down to my timeline, every time I either clicked on one of my sources or pressed the button to switch angles, it creates a cut automatically. As I play back, it will switch between them, keeping the audio from the source that I designated. And that is the magic behind multicam editing because as I'm watching through just in real time, I can be making these cuts just as if I'm watching a live stream of myself doing this and I can just cut between the shots that I want. But if I make a mistake and I cut to a shot that I don't want, it's really not a problem. I just select that clip 
So right here, say I wanted camera three instead of camera one, I just go to the beginning of that clip and then click on camera three and it'll switch it over. So just because you have selected different shots doesn't mean you're stuck with them. You can go back and edit them. And just like a normal project, you can go through and you can adjust the timing of your cuts, you can delete things. You can essentially then start layering and editing the same way you would any other project, but the bulk of getting all four of those angles lined up is pretty much done for you. I mean, right here, I'm dealing with a 30 minute chunk of time, which when multiplied by four camera angles is two hours worth of footage, but ultimately it comes down to just one 30 minute multi-cam clip and I could play through it and get through the entire thing in 30 minutes or less if I know there's parts that I'm just gonna cut out right away. And so then you can start to see how much time this can save you. And from there you can edit just like normal, adding in music and sound effects and different layers and other angles and the same way you would edit normally. But those are the basics of multicam editing with Final Cut Pro. Doesn't matter how many angles, I think by default, Final Cut Pro can support up to 16 different camera angles, which is, good God, why? I don't even want to keep track of something that involves 16 different angles. But you can be really creative. It's great for YouTube, but beyond YouTube and other production work, there's so many scenarios where having multiple cameras recording at the same time is helpful or it's just kind of the nature of a live event or an interview or something like that that you can't do more than one time. In this case, I didn't want to assemble this four different times to get all those angles and I didn't want to have to keep stopping and moving my camera to set up angles. I want to just set up the cameras and be able to assemble my tripod head the best that I could. And from there, the sky really is the limit in terms of creativity with Final Cut Pro. There's a lot more you can do with multicam editing, but that gets kind of complex and kind of advanced. I just wanted to give you the basics of how to set up a multicam project, start switching between your angles, and get that sucker exported and out into the world. If you do want to learn a little bit more about Final Cut Pro, I did put together a video of some of my favorite tips and tricks that I've learned over the years. So go ahead and check that out here, and I'll see you over in that video.